welcome to the Children Natural series. I am the Children Natural and my name is Omelo Nani. Let's talk children and lies. When children start to lie, that's today's topic. When children start to lie, guess what? Soon enough, they start to steal too. One comes right after the other. But before we get into that, I want to ask you a question. Why do children lie? Why? But to answer that question, I'd like you to answer one other question first. Do you tell lies? Do you lie now? Well, let me answer for myself. Yes, I do tell lies now and again. It's not a habit. It's not something I do frequently. But yes, I do lie. So I know that wherever you are now, you probably would have answered me. Well, I think I do. And really, there are some people who would have said, no, I do not tell lies. But of 99.9999% of persons listening to me right now will agree. But yes, I do tell lies. You do tell lies now and again. So, why do you lie? There are different reasons why people lie. To save themselves from situations, for instance, that's it easiest way. But whatever reasons you're able to give for, for lying, whatever reasons for which you tell lies, think of this. It is the same. It is the same reasons why children lie to you. Because before that, did you also, did you lie as a child? You probably did. You probably told a lot of lies as a child. It is the same thing. The same reasons why you told lies as a child is probably the same reasons children right now, your children, tell lies. So what are these common reasons why children lie? The reasons are really simple. Let's start with the most neglected, the most commonplace, but the most insignificant but quite impactful reason why children they learn by example. Take for instance, you're at home and then you get a call from a friend and then she asks you, hey babes, where are you? We've been waiting for you. It's been 30 minutes ago and you're supposed to have been here. Where are you? And you're like, well, you know what? Um, I just got into the car. I'm about to drive up. I will be with you in five minutes. And you're there with your child and you haven't had your car. You don't even know where your car keys are. And your child is there. They learn by example. This is what you call careless parenting. So you by yourself teach your children how to lie. Number two, children lie out of fear. Fear of being punished, fear of being condemned, fear of being blamed. This is one of another major reason why children lie. I'm going to expand upon that. Before I do that, let's go with the commercial break. We return. Little Crystal's Cradle LCC, a home crack set in the city centre of the Federal Capital Territory, offers daily drop-in for toddlers and preschoolers and a second home option for your little ones. With reliable care that pays attention to each child's peculiar developmental needs and pace, we nurture your children deliberately towards a full childhood. You never have to worry if your little crystals are doing okay because at LCC, it's truly a home away from home. Every five days every week from 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., we accept your babies from three months. At Little Crystal's Cradle, we think children, we breathe for children and we live for children. Looking for that trusted eagle eye care for your little ones? Then call us on 0818 -5951. LCC, deliberate steps to lofty heights. Welcome back to the Children Natural Series and we're still talking children and lying. When children start to lie. And we're talking about the most common reasons why children tell lies. The first we've said is careless parents lie before their children without noticing that the ch that children photocopy whatever they see and build upon it the second one is fear of punishment fear of condemnation fear of blame now 
if you find that most of the times when something goes wrong around your child, you ask it, well, why didn't you? You show that if you did not, you blame that child for something that went wrong. Nobody wants to feel that kind of way all the time. Nobody wants to feel like they're not good enough. They are not able to do simple things right. Nobody wants to be the butt of condemnation most of the time. And so if you're doing that a lot, tendencies are children around you, your child, will not want to admit that they have done something wrong. They don't want to be condemned and so they lie. Now, if you are one to easily, quickly punish or beat or spank when they have done something wrong, tendency is most of the times that the fear of being punished or beaten makes them lie. Another thing is condemnation. If you constantly condemn whatever it is you've done, in, in term, instead of correcting them, they are going to tell you lies. What's the third thing on the list? Children tell lies just like every other person to escape really tight or really tricky situations. Now, when they feel in an awkward spot, they probably think it's okay to lie. I mean, let me just lie my way out of this. I don't want to have to deal with this. And then they tell lies. Finally, one of the things that we do not pay attention to also, just like careless, careless spirits, is frustration. When children hang around people who, in one way or the other, have learned to lie, friends, family, especially, who are in their age bracket who are telling lies. They learn to lie. And then one other thing you should consider is this. Sometimes children staying among themselves tell sto stories. They regale of how they were able to lie over something. They lied and got away with something. They lied and got something. They lied and obtained that word, obtained something from someone or from somewhere. And so they share it and then your child is like, okay, I can learn to do that. Peer pressure. We don't pay attention to this, but this is one of the reasons why children lie.